little dark out here this morning. Camera is gonna have trouble focusing in this low light. May have to stop filming here in the mornings pretty soon because it's just really dark. Time changes at the end of the month and we'll get a few more days of early morning light. It's not cloudy this morning. That is about to be the sunrise over there. Not a cloud in the sky. Just a little dark. We've got kitties following me. Hi, Dottie. See our shrubby cat. The dog was not ready to go. He's probably just gone to bed. He barked quite a bit last night. I told you guys a couple of videos ago we've had a coyote family. They've apparently just had pups, which is kind of a weird time of year for that. Usually that's spring. But I can hear him howling for sure. He's been barking a lot. Rightfully so. That's kind of Pyrenees thing, isn't it? They just bark a lot. So know that if you ever decide to get a livestock guardian dog. For Pyrenees, they would rather bark than fight. And so that's what they do. Their biggest defense is just their big loud bark. And we rather intimidate somebody than actually have to fight them. Which is nice, because it puts, puts them at less risk of getting hurt. I've seen one chase a bear off, just barking at it. Oh, Kitty, I didn't get you any food. You shouldn't need food. There was still full of food in the bowl when I filled it up last night. All right, let's get these sillies fed. You ready for breakfast? You ready for breakfast? Yeah. piggy breakfast. I went ahead and locked them in and that just keeps everybody from kind of running between feeders. Still a lot of headbutting but I think that works out a little bit better. I'll just let them out when I come back around. That way everybody kind of has equal amounts of food to share. Good morning. All right let's go have breakfast. Let's go. every day she gets excited when I move and so she goes to their bowl and eats their food and then they don't have any she's not aggressive toward them which is what I find interesting like waffles just kind of stuck his head in her bowl. she's totally fine with that she's just going bowl to bowl looking for extra things to eat now maybe she's pregnant she's just super hungry and my cat family over here I'm sure they're all kind of mice and things at the neighbors hello let's go there you go. Those two still eating. Because they had two people to share their food instead of four. So today, I'm gonna take another poop sample to the vet for Tink. She's still not back to normal. So she went back to normal there for like a week or two. And now we've had another three weeks of running poop. Not as bad as it was, but just still not back to normal. So before I worm her again, I'm gonna go ahead and take a fecal to see if we're improving at all. If she just needs probiotics, what the deal is. Her color gets better, it gets worse. I really think we're just still 
it's just a long haul fight for her. A lot like I had Poppy last winter. We're gonna take that to confirm. If she is still heavily parasite loaded, we will warm her again. But I'm gonna dry stall her this time. So I'm gonna lock her in a stall. Good morning, buddies. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, we're out of range cubes, guys. So we'll put her in a stall with some hay and some feed for a week or two. Let that wormer work through and give her almost zero opportunities to reinfect herself. I can't keep her off pasture unless she's in a stall. And I don't have any like virgin ground to put her on where there hasn't been an animal. There's been an animal in basically every part of our pasture. So we're gonna try that. And really, I never did that with Poppy. I just kept worming her every six weeks we finally got through because we went through winter and warm loads kind of decrease in general over the winter. This is the worst part of the year. Usually we hit November, everybody improves. She's so tiny that I'm just concerned. She's doing really well. She's eating, she's perky. She doesn't look like it's affecting her anything other than this like kind of chunkier poop. Uh, and it may be just it's taken her body a while to get kind of righted with all of this. We've been giving her probiotics and supplements and all of that. So we're going to take that this afternoon, kind of see what it says, and then make a decision about how to treat her going forward. Okay, so we have to go collect some poop from Tinkerbell. Hopefully that won't be hard. You can always take a glove and kind of stick your finger in and try to get some. We may have to do that. I'm hoping that won't be the case because I just kind of roused everybody from a nap. So maybe I can walk around for a minute and she'll poop. Goats poop pretty often. What I typically do is just take a freezer quality Ziploc bag, not like a sandwich bag, and turn it inside out and just grab poop that way from the ground. And that keeps me from getting gross and it puts it in a container that we may have to use a rubber glove if this doesn't work. She was sleeping. Yes, are you being mean? Come here. And you want it to be pretty fresh. There's some pee. You poop too. It'd be great if you just go ahead and poop too. Yep, there we go. Okay. There was some poop. Yep, this is this is what happens when you have 85 million goats. I think that'll be enough of a sample for now. It's not a whole lot. Hopefully it'll be enough. There should have been more than just one little poop. The problem is having all these goats climbing all over me. I feel like how much poop Cece just pooped. It would be great. But they all think that I have something. We'll see. Oh, there's some more. Okay, so that should be more than enough. So thankfully our vet that we use, I don't have to have an appointment. I'm just gonna run this over there and then I'm gonna come back and wait for them to just call me and tell me the results. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. But you do need, I mean, a pretty good amount of poop. I didn't get my hands dirty or anything. That to me is the easiest way to do it. Goats, pretty much if you can catch them like after they've been laying down for a while, they'll get up and poop and pee. And so that's a super easy way to make sure you get a poop sample. If not, you're just like following them in their ground in the pasture. A lot of times if they get startled or there's a lot of chaos, they'll do it too. I don't particularly enjoy that. So hopefully they will tell us if this is still worms that we're dealing with. My guess is it is just because I've done this so much. We will make a decision about how we're gonna handle care after I find out kind of what the worm count is. So I just heard back from the vet and like I suspected, we still have quite a few worms going on. Gonna worm her again today. Today will have been three weeks. It's the last time I wormed her. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do that tonight. I'll lock her up in a stall probably with her mom tonight with some hay and some feed and we'll give her all her supplements and her wormer. And then tomorrow, when I let everybody out, she will just stay in her stall. But I'll try to put her mom in with her at night so that she's not by herself. She's gonna be upset about it because she's gonna be by herself. So we'll try that for a few days to a week to let that wormer really, really work and get her cleaned out. And then I'll put her back. I don't wanna overstress her, 
So if she gets super upset that she can't see anybody else, and we'll, we'll try to set up something different. I don't want her to be stressed and sick, so. Hello. How are pigs? Mom's come and check on everybody's water. Yeah, a big pig. That's a little pig. Yes, it will, Mom. It's funny, like, can you see? I don't know if you can remember, but they have, like, slowly, eat, they just eat it to the ground. We're gonna have to cap this off our burn pile, like, back here for them for a little bit. But it's funny that this area, they just have eaten to the dirt, and that's the pigs. The goats are out here eating the tops off everything and enjoying it. And your water bowl's full. Mom filled it up last night. She did. She filled up her water bowl. She likes for me to put fresh in there because it's cool. And that's what she's doing. She's dipping her nose in it and it's warm. She's like, is there some cool water? Hello, cheese pooper. What do you think, buddy? Hmm. So did Mo yesterday a little bit out here. This stuff's gonna have to be brush hogged. That pigweed that's over my head, my little mower, can't handle. Mowed all this right here and really opened it up. I need to get in and mow the boys' pasture, all that pigweed down as well. And I think that really will improve the visual. And you'll really be able to see how open and spacious that is. I am gonna do a video about how much we sold those heifers for versus the cost to raise them so that you guys can kind of understand a little bit about why raising cows right now is so difficult. Why raising bottle calves is not always like a fruitful endeavor. We did make money, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna do a whole video on that coming up. Look at that proud peer. So your kitty's trying to make friends with you. Look at that kitty. He's like, mom, he's harassing me. I'm trying to be nice. All right, I think it's close enough to dark. We should be able to get our gorilla in and taken care of. This will be good for her in a second way as well as that we're gonna really supplement and beef up her nutrition for a few days. She'll have more to eat than she'll be able to eat, which will be good for a few days. Hopefully get this knocked out. It's just this way parasites sometimes, like it's a constant battle. And the truth is we could have lost her already. Like she could have died from this. So I know that we're making some progress because she's not getting any worse and her health has never declined, which is also really helpful. Hello, Shadow. She's so funny. Every time she sees me, she just like flops on her back and rolls around. Hi, Nani Bear. Thought maybe she was in heat, but no, I think she's just been standing out here and one of the other goats has been yelling. It's just I only see her. But I haven't had anybody else go into heat so far. And we'll have to kick these girls out of the stall so I can get, you guys have food in your bowl, silly cats. And I think, for the most part, she'd rather have her mom in here. She can't reach the hay in here. Come here, babe. Come on, Tilly. Let's go in here. Good girl. hold her head back for a few seconds to make sure we get that all in. She's got hay. I'm gonna get her a little bit of feed and I'm gonna go find Cece and put Cece in here with her overnight. They're eating a little bit of this hay because I can see the waste. I'm not gonna overdo on the grain for her because that really won't help anything. It would be great if she would just eat pellets, but she's pretty small and she's never really felt super comfortable eating the pellets, honestly. Kind of funny. We will start supplementing some of our bread girls here pretty quickly if we feel like we need to. I haven't needed to with Zelda because we have such good pasture, which is a great thing about having fall babies, is she has the benefit of all the grass. Yes, would you like to go in here with your baby? Mom is 
a little extra food for her. Mom's gonna eat most of that, I'm sure. But just a little bit extra. We'll feed her a little bit extra in the morning too. We'll make sure there's always food in here for her. And clean water. She can eat hay, feed out of the trough. There should be no additional exposure to worms. Hopeful that giving her a week separated from reinfecting herself with the wormer, we will see a significant improvement. We may not. She may have to stay in the stall for a long time. A long time, a few weeks until we really can get a handle on what's going on. I hate that, but I'd rather her be alive and in the stall than the worms kill her eventually. And since we've been dealing with this for about three months, it's really time to take a more hard line approach. It's not my favorite thing to do, but sometimes it's, sometimes it's necessary. All right, pregnant lady. There's definitely some food in this side of the belly. I haven't felt any babies at all over here. Um, we're definitely really, really soft, but I think that's just basically because we have so many babies that udder hasn't filled up yet, and we're still two weeks from me to be concerned that she might have these babies. Watch, I'll come out here like in the morning and there'll be babies everywhere. All right, kiddos. Night-night, mm, peppers. What's a good boy. Bernie, are you itchy? Hmm? Are you itching your head? Grandma and Mom are over here checking on you. I don't know what that's about. Underneath the feeder. This is bizarre. Alright, buns. Well, it's nighttime, guys. And it's just after 7. 